Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Learn with Arin. Today we will solve Achiever section questions for class 3 2023-24 paper. Let's solve the Achiever section questions for set A 2023-24 paper. Now we are in Achiever section. Question number 31. Match the following and select the correct option. So, a cuboid has 6 faces and 8 vertex. So, P is related to B. A cone has 2 faces and 1 vertex. So, it is related to C. And A sphere has only 1 face and there is no vertex. So, it is related to A. So, correct answer is option C. Question number 32. Select the incorrect option. Let's check the option one by one. Option A, the fractions are arranged in ascending order. If we look at this fraction, these are like fraction as the denominator is same in all the three. So if the numerator is in increasing order, it is ascending order, which is 579, which is in ascending order. So this statement is correct. Let's see the option B. The fraction of the vowels in the word Keshan is 4 by 8. So total number of alphabets are 8. And if you see the vowels, which is E, A, I, O, so total are 4 vowels. So fraction is 4 by 8, which is also correct. So let's check the option C. In the numbers 1 to 15, the fraction of even numbers to the total number is 8 by 15. So total number between 1 to 5 is 15. And the even numbers between 1 to 15 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And 14 which results in 7 number so required fraction is 7 by 15 so option C is incorrect question number 33 the given pictograph shows the number of cars manufactured by a company in the first six months of a year study the given pictograph carefully and answer the following questions so if you see at the last each car represent 30 cars so we multiply the number total number by 30 so we have written everything all the numbers here so 8 times 30 240 5 times 30 150 similarly we did for all the months so let's see the options uh, let's see the statements how many more cars were manufactured in january and march together than may so we need to add the number of cars in january and march and then subtract the may so January we have 240 and the March we have 180 and we need to subtract the cars May in May which is 150. So 240 plus 180 minus 150 equals to 270. Let's check the statement Q. In the month of April if 25 car got damaged then what fraction of the cars manufactured were not damaged in that month? So in the April, the car manufactured is 120 and 25 damage. So remaining are 120 minus 25 and the fraction is divided by 120. So 95 by 120. So P is 270 and Q is 95 by 120. So correct answer is option D. Identify the four digit number. So we can write down 1000, 100, tens and ones as it's a four digit number. So first statement is 10 place digit is five less than the digit at one place. So we cannot make anything right now from this statement. Let's check the next statement. It's one place digit is the largest one digit even number. So largest one digit even number is eight. So we can replace the one digit by eight. Now we go back to the first statement. This tenth digit Tens place digit is 5 less than the digit at one place. So digit at the one place is 8. So 5 less than is 3. So we can replace the tens digit with the 3. Now check the next statement. Its 100 place digit is the ones place digit of 758 minus 354. So if we do 758 minus 354 which is 404. And it's one place digit is 4, which is the 100 digit. So we replace the 100 digit by 4. Now let's check the last statement. It's 1000 place digit is the sum of the digit at its 10th place and 100th place. So 10th place we have 4 and 100th place, sorry, 
10 place we have 3 and the 100 place we have 4. So 4 plus 3 equals to 7. So we replace the 1000 place digit by 7. So the number is 7438. So correct option is option C. Question number 35. Study the given two abacuses carefully and state T for true and F for false. Let's check the statement P. So first we write down the abacus number. X shows 5426. Y shows 3425. Let's check the statement P. The number shown on abacus Y is more than the number shown on abacus S. So this is a false statement as the number shown by Y is less than number shown on abacus X. Check the option uh, statement Q. The expanded form of the number shown on a baker's Y is 3000 plus 400 plus 20 plus 5 which is the expanded form of 3425. So this statement is true. Let's check the statement R. The number shown on a baker's is X is an odd number. So number shown on the baker's is 5426 which is even. So this statement is also false. So we have false, true and false. So option A is the correct option. Now let's solve the achiever sections question for set B 2023-24 paper. Now we are in achiever section. Question number 31. Read the time on the given two clocks carefully and fill in the blanks. So A, if the clock P is 30 minutes slow, then the correct time is. So now let's check what is the time shown in the clock P, which is 6.50. So it is 30 minutes slow. So the correct time will be 6.15 plus 30 minutes, which is 6.45. Let's check the options. Statements B. The difference between the time shown on the two clock is. So clock Q shows 7.30. Clock P shows 6.15. So difference will be 7.30 minus 6.15, which is 1 hour 15 minutes. So correct answer is option B. 6.45 and 1 hour 15 minutes. Question number 32. In a train journey, there are 1560 passengers in a train. 515 passengers debout the train on station A and 1157 passengers board the train on station B. How many total passengers are there in the train now? So there will be, there was 1560 515 deboarded, so we will subtract 515 and 1157 passenger boarded, so we will add the 1157. So total will be 2202. Let's check the statement Q. How many passenger were there in the train after leaving station A? So after leave, initially there were 1560 at the station A, 515 passenger deboarded. So we subtract this from 1560 and we will get the number. So it is 1045. So correct answer is option D. Question number 33. Navya's mother gave her the following amount of money to buy vegetable from the market. She bought 2 kg branches. 2 kg potatoes, 1 kg onion and 1 kg cauliflower. How much total amount is left with her? So how much amount her mother gave is 500 plus 200, 700 plus 100, 800 plus 50. So 850 her mother gave her. And how much she spent is 2 kg of brinjal. So 2 times 75. 2 kg of potato. So 2 times 90. 1 kg of onion, so 120 and 1 kg of cauliflower which is 180. So let's add everything, we will get 630. So her mother gave 850, she spent 630, so amount left is 850 minus 630 which is 220. So correct answer is option A, 220. Question number 34. The given bar graph shows the different number of animals in Mr. Gupta's farm's farm. Study the graph carefully and answer the following question. So we can first write down the number of animals 
which is shown in the graph which is 35 30 20 40 and 20 so p find the fraction of number of horses and rabbit together to the total number of animals so total number of animals is 35 plus 30 plus 20 plus 40 plus 20 which is also 145 and total number of horse and rabbit horse are 40 and rabbits are 20 so 60 60 divided by 145 is the required fraction so let's check you find the total number of goats sheep and rabbits all together so goat is 35 sheep is 20 and rabbits are 20 so total will be 75 so correct answer is option c Question number 35. Arrange the shaded fraction of the given figure in ascending order and select the correct option. So let's write down the fraction in all the option P, Q and R. So here 8 portion out of which 4 is shaded. So 4 by 8. Here also 8 and the shaded is 5. So 5 by 8. Here also 8 but 3 is shaded. So 3 by 8. So in the ascending order it will be R then p and then q so correct answer is option a r p and q make sure to subscribe like comment and share thank you